what's up guys haven't seen you guys in a long time but it is the sunday before thanksgiving and we are hosting friendsgiving at our house i have i'm making the turkey and the dressing so um i'm going to actually take out the turkey i still have to go to church but i'm going to take out the turkey because i had it sitting in brine we've also since i last saw you bit uh we butchered the pig we broke down the pig well one of them and i have a ham in brine as well because i want to make a thanksgiving ham on the day of actually thanksgiving because we're having thanksgiving um with some family and friends on thanksgiving day this is just friends giving people from church so i'm gonna get the turkey out of the refrigerator uh drain all of the liquid so that way i can pat it dry I thought I was recording and I wasn't. I couldn't remember all that I put in the brine. I think it was water, salt. It was supposed to be brown sugar, but I used regular sugar as well as molasses, uh, ginger, garlic, um, and I think that's pretty much it. And the ham, I think I did add more orange. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna this turkey was bought last year after thanksgiving had ended i bought it on clearance at whole Foods, so it's an organic turkey i'm just gonna get it out and sit it on this pan like i said like i said so i could pat it dry I've mentioned this before, but after Hurricane Helene and we lost power, we never regained power to our fridge. I don't know what the storm and the power outage did to my refrigerator, but our refrigerator did have, old refrigerator did have a water filter on it. And this new fridge that we got out of our garage to replace it does not have a water filter on it, which is why I'm happy to talk to you about my new Simpure water filter. It filters out 99.99% .99 of fluoride, microplastics, nitrates, heavy metals like arsenic and lead, and each replacement filter can filter about 4,000 um, gallons of water, which saves on lots of water bottles because that's what we had been doing before we got this water filter is just buying water bottles from the store. And as you know, that uh, goes by, adds up really, really quickly. And so with this new water filter, we've just been able to, as you can see at the same right there, just fill it up. And it's so easy. You just snap it off and fill it up and it automatically goes through its filter. And so this has been saving us so much time. If you're interested in a new water filter that is easy to install, all you have to do is fill it up and plug it in. Um, I will definitely leave a link down in the description box where you can find this on Amazon or at um, simpure.com. I'll also have a discount code for you in the description box. paper towel so I'm gonna use um, probably just a clean towel I didn't take out the uh, giblets or anything I frosted this so I'm taking it out now like the neck I'm gonna save it for later to make gravy if I can get it out seems like it's all stuck I'm also in charge of making the stuffing well it's not gonna be stuffing dressing i guess it's gonna be like stuffing but not stuffed in the bird um and i'm using bread i chopped up these bread last night and so some of them are hard some of them still like at the bottom still have some machinist to them so i'm just taking the ones from the bottom putting them on top 
when I come back, I'll probably have to put them in the oven if they're still not as hard as I need them to be. But I'm gonna cover this turkey. I did try to get as much moisture off as I could. And then I already see some new moisture forming. So when I get back, I will clean up the liquid that has pooled. And then I also need to pick up an apple, an orange, or a lemon, or both. I didn't pick up any citrus while I was at the store the other day. I'm back from the church. This has drained some more liquid. I'm gonna pat it dry again. And I picked up some butter because my butter was frozen and um, I could not find it because we still have half of a pig in our deep freezer. So I'm pretty sure the pig is uh, squeezing it. I also stopped at Aldi on my way to church and picked up apples, lemons, and oranges because I'm gonna stuff the turkey with one of each. Like I said, I've never made a turkey before, so this was a great first effort. I will show you the end result at the end of the video. It did turn out uh, great, so that's a spoiler for you right there. But I do think that patting dry this turkey was definitely good. I just followed the recipe on this, but it turned out amazing. Everyone thought it was like super juicy, which my chef friend ended up sharing that um, if you let it rest, that's what keeps the juice inside of it because it was really, really juicy. She said when you cut it right away is when it loses its juices and its flavor. And I could definitely see that because when she did cut into it, um, it still did have all of its juices. I will say that I thawed this turkey in the brine. And so when I defrosted it, I only took out the neck and I did not realize that the giblets were still inside, frozen inside of the turkey because when I looked in there, I could not see it. And so I actually ended up stuffing this turkey with the lemon orange and apple and um and all of the things and onions uh while the giblet bag was still in there but it just was blending in because it was slightly um still frozen in there and the only reason why i know that the giblet bag was still in there is because after my friend had cut off um carved the whole turkey i could um i then found the bag of giblets um cooked inside of the turkey which i did use a food thermometer to um make sure that the turkey was done and so and it was at 165 it did tell me to cook it until the uh the deepest part or the thickest part was at 160 and it did take about um right at three hours so here i am just cutting the lemon the apple and the orange i did co really combine like a couple recipes because i know one recipe called for an orange one called for a lemon and then i think either one called for an, an apple i'm not really sure but i just basically combined all of them together and then it did say for me to tuck the wings at that point i was just trying to see if there was any more moisture going to drip out of the opening and it did not and then i was adding salt and pepper and i added that to some uh to rub that in, or spread that inside of the turkey with the orange lemon and apple and then i ended up also stuffing it with some uh onions as well but you see me just looking up the recipe niel has ended up uh mixing together the butter and the herbs i did use pre-cut herbs um because i did buy fresh herbs but then i didn't end up using them because i didn't feel like cutting them now I wanted to help me stuff the oranges and apples and uh, lemons inside of the turkey but then she didn't want to touch it because she thought it was gross and so I just gave her the end of a spatula and so that is what she's doing by just stuffing it inside. I also, I don't remember if I said this, but I was also in charge of making the stuffing 
I had originally also said I was going to make a ham with the pork that we processed, but after looking up ham recipes, I realized that you needed to let the ham cure for about a week. And so instead, I opted out of making the ham and I ended up making gravy. And I'm going to try and make the ham on the day of Thanksgiving. That won't actually be a full week. It would probably be like six days. But I figured it was close enough and we will get to try it together. And I'll let you guys know how that cured ham um, turns out for Thanksgiving. I've never done this before, but peeling the skin back uh, from that turkey was such a weird ex experience and uh, it felt really, really gross and I all thought it was really, really gross as well. But like I said, it really worked out because the turkey ended up turning out great and it was very, very moist putting all of that herb butter underneath uh, the turkey skin. Okay, my battery died. Well, not died. My storage ran out on my camera and I'm not changing it right now because I have my hands. Well, they're clean right now, but my hands are dirty and I'm in the middle. I want to get this in the oven because I have three and a half hours. Uh, I put butter all over, uh, herb butter all over. It has the oranges, the apples, uh, the limes. Um, I lifted the skin and did all of that. The last thing I'm going to do is add some onions in there. I bought pre-chopped onions because I didn't remember if I had any more onions from this year's garden. I'm going to put it in the oven on 325 and then we'll start on the sausage gravy. I am making gravy. I didn't mean sausage gravy. I'm making sausage stuffing and I'll probably make the turkey uh, and I have some duck broth and I also have pig broth so we'll make some kind of gravy but... The recipe I was making was sauce called sausage dressing. Um, I kept calling it stuffing because that's I did not think I did not know that there was a difference. Um, it actually turned it out, turned out amazing. That was my first time making that as well, and so I just uh browned up some sausage i cut up a bunch of bread and put it in my oven to well i left it out overnight but then the bottom was still um moist and so then i just dehydrated the rest of the bread in the oven and i'll show you after i browned the sausage i then just added um some but a stick of butter with celery onions and some elephant garlic that we grew in the garden and i also used some of the pork broth I added it to the bowl of the freshly um, herbs and the butter and mixed it all together and then that's what I topped for the stuffing and let me tell you it was so good and everyone complimented me on how delicious the stuffing was or the dressing and so definitely um, make yourself some stuffing this recipe specifically because I've never technically had sausage stuffing or dressing either and a few people who came over had said that they've never had it but it was actually really really good that's the liquid mixture that i'm just showing you which was the herbs the broth and um the butter and the seasonings all mixed together and i just poured it over and then baked it I sisters. okay a little update i have some pork gravy here thickening I thought that this was duck broth, but it was actually pork broth when I went to start taking out the bones. My duck is actually inside of my roaster oven. So I've been taking out all of the bones from out of there. I've had this going for like a little over 24 hours. Okay, I just changed because we're dressing up. Some of my friends are dressing up, so I decided I was going to dress up too. So I put on a dress. But we got the stuffing out, the turkey we just pulled out. Besides my turkey dressing and, and uh, gravy, I would say it looks we pretty also good. ended up having For my um, first time corn, ever making turkey. mashed potatoes, green bean casseroles, uh, some rolls, some cranberry sauce, some ribs, and some mac and cheese. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on this vlog uh, for Friendsgiving, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.